Okay, here to try to make a quick lunch with some Prego and some mini penny and some we got some provolone mozzarella and some turkey sausage so i'm going to take this in this recipe that i have here i'm just checking on my phone and we're going to use this little dish that we can throw into the oven it's just a one pot it's a one pot deal i think i got this um, it's a pampered chef rock crock and it's multi-purpose multi-environment deal so i'm going to need um to preheat the oven to 400 done so i'm going to combine one half jar of prego sauce Ooh, is that a half no oh, that seems like half check that off to the side. Gonna need one three-fourths cup of water because I'm halving. No, I am cutting the recipe by half. So you put all these ingredients in here and then you let it cook in the oven one pot. And so now I'm gonna need one cup of shredded cheese. Go ahead and put put that. Ooh, get that cleaned up there. Ah, oh, we're gonna need a pinch more. A pinch more going in there. One cup of mozzarella, and then we need the. We're going to use penne. It says eight ounces, and here we have, oh Lord, more than eight ounces. Let's see how much we're going to put in. I think about a cup will do. We'll just do a cup. So, we're going to have half a jar of uh, Prego, three fourths cup of water, one cup of cheese, one cup of penne and then we're going to oh we got to put in and now it doesn't the recipe does not call for these but I have some tur tur turkey sauces so I'm going to just give those a quick chop 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 here on the board I don't even know if you can see that let's get it so you can see it right here chop 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 um, these are already pre-cooked, so I'm not concerned. And you gotta save the end for Winnie, when he likes turkey sausage. Okay, put that in there. Gotta get the knife in. Clean up as you go. Put this into the sink. And then we're going to give it a stir. Oh, Lord, what are you going to stir it with? Better get a spoon. Got a spoon here. Going to give it a stir. I think that's all we do. Check the recipe. Cover tightly with aluminum foil and bake for 55 minutes. I did not prepare with the aluminum foil. But oh, here it is. I haven't used aluminum foil in a long, long time. Okay. Recipe says put this in the oven for 55 minutes. So I'm going to do ahead and do that. Set my timer for 55. And then we'll be back. Okay, 
Okay, I just heard the buzzer. We're back again. Next step is to take about half a cup. Actually, it didn't set a cup, but I needed to half that. We need to get this out of the oven and see how it is. Fancy, aren't they? Oh. Whoo! Have a look at this. That's got to be a little something something. Alright, so get that back up there. Where are you? There you are! Okay, so we're going to sprinkle some cheese on the top. That same Almost time. <clears throat> Make sure we get that set back up. Oh, there you are. Can hear the timer going off? Let's stop that and let's have a look. See what it's like. I know this is on 400 so it's pretty hot and I've got to tell you that I think that looks really good so I was talking about this rock crock from pampered chef and um, you know I have no allegiance to I got this like 10 15 years ago and I don't use it very often, but I have to say, this is a mighty purposeful tool. It can go in the oven, it can go on the stove top, it can go in the microwave, it can go on a grill, it can go in a toaster oven, it can go in the, in the dishwasher for cleaning. It can also go into the freezer. So, um, I like it because I don't need a whole lot, a lot, a lot, of, and it's much smaller than my Farberware crock pot, which I also love. So let's see if we can't one-handed dig into this. Let's see what you're doing here. All right, so there's the food. Do a little, oh, oh. Hear that? Little sizzle. There's a turkey sausage. Whew. Look, it comes with a lid. I don't think I want the lid on it just yet. I want it to cool down. So let's see. I'm going to enjoy this. Tastes as good. Noodles are soft. No ooey gooey chewy. I see um because I halved it, it's not very deep here. Which is nice. The water has absorbed into the noodles. And the sauce is nice. Um, I'm going to enjoy this. So let's, let's end the video here. Thank you so much for joining along again. This is a one pot baked ziti. And I used half of the recipe. So I used one cup of penne noodles. Three fourths cup of water. One half jar of prego. You can use any prego you want. One cup of mozzarella. Mix that up. Then I baked it in the oven 400 degrees for... Uh, how long did I bake this for? 55 minutes. Because I contemplated cutting that in half too. But I didn't. 55 minutes. And then come back 
Take off the tin foil, one cup of mozzarella, put it back in for five more minutes, and then here it is. Yummy, yummy. Cool. All right, catch you later.